Hello and welcome to this video on the fundamentals of, uh, of using a HAP device. What we've got here is uh, my, my desktop and a web camera showing a close-up of the display of my HAP. Now the one thing to, um, to bear in mind about blowing and sucking is that basically you can blow hard or you can blow softly. And conversely, you can suck hard and you can suck softly. Uh, there's not a lot more you can do, really. Um, so, the two LEDs at the top are showing you the status of blowing. So that's blowing softly, the yellow one, or blowing hard, the red one. And the bottom ones are sucking softly and sucking hard. The uh, the, the the blue knob here is sensitivity. So if you find um, you're having to blow too hard or uh, or it's too sensitive, then um, to make it more sensitive, turn it clockwise. To make it less sensitive, turn it anti-clockwise. For starting, I would start with the knob somewhere in the middle. And then in the middle here, we have a green display, which we'll, um, which we'll look at in more detail a little bit later. Uh, so don't worry too much about that. The first thing you've got to really get to grips with is the difference between what, what the HAP understands as uh, a low blow, or a high blow, and a, a low suck, or a high suck. So I'm going to blow gently. See the yellow light comes on? The mouse will also move, but we'll come to that later. Now I'm going to blow hard. Okay, that's what I want you to concentrate on. Just working out what the difference is between a soft blow and a hard blow. And then if you get, uh, you get into it, try it with sucking. The, the hat will bleep a little bit to uh, to give you some indication of when it's picked up a blow and suck. But just break off from this video now and uh, have a play with your uh, your hat device and see if you can start start to get to learn the point where the difference is between the soft and a hard blow and suck. Now we're going to look at how we move the cursor around. Um, to do that we have to a work out the speed the cursor is going to move and b the direction the cursor is going to move um, that's going to be under your control well we issue commands by high blows and if i if i blow hard i'm going to uh, go through five blow commands one two three four five and the hat will do that on its on its on its own so i'm going to blow hard and continue blowing watch what happens Okay, and similarly for suck, except that goes around four. It might go around five if you've got a different hat model. These are commands. If I stop blowing at a point, uh, let's say it goes one, two, three. If I stop blowing on three, then the command three will be actioned. Similarly for suck. Now, uh, the commands that we're interested for changing direction are actually the first commands. So that will be that one and conversely minus one so we've got plus one minus one and you notice after i stop blowing and sucking the display ends up a different shape i'm going to blow now we've got what looks like 11 but it's not it's actually saying the mouse cursor is going to be allowed to go north and south up and down if i blow uh blow again just quickly for command one now it's telling me the cursor is going to be allowed to move east and west. North, south, east, west. If I suck to get a suck command one, it lets me do the diagonals. There we go, that's going to be, what's that, south, southwest to northeast. Suck again. Okay, that's going to be northwest to southeast. So with these simple um, hard blows and hard sucks, we can uh, we can allow the mouse to go uh, around all the points on the main points of the compass. Now, once you've decided what direction you want the cursor to go, I'm going to put the cursor in the middle of the display so you can see easily. Then it's the so slow, the, sorry, the low blows and sucks that will actually move it. So now we've chosen north and south. So I'm going to uh, blow very gently and watch the, watch the mouse cursor. Now I'm going to suck gently. Okay. Now I'm going to change direction to east and west. So that's one hard blow. Okay. Now I'm going to blow gently. 
I'm going to suck gently. Okay, when I go diagonally, I'm going to suck hard once. Okay, that's going to go diagonally. Suck hard again. And it's going to go the opposite diagonal. Okay. So that's how we control the direction of the uh, the mouse cursor. The speed control of the of the mouse cursor is um, is something you 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 have to understand. Um, it's quite subtle in that you will have noticed that uh, the cursor will move quite slowly as you blow gently or suck gently. I'm just going to keep saying blow and assume I mean suck at the same time. Save me saying blow and suck. Uh, but as you blow harder, the mouse cursor will move faster. Indeed, you can blow as hard as you like, and so long as the yellow light had come on and the, the hat will have bleeped to let you know, the hat will remain in that mode, that is the mode that the cursor is going to be moving which allows you to blow as hard as you like and you'll never bring on the red light until you stop blowing or sucking and start again. So that allows you to move the cursor very quickly so long as you start moving it gently. So you always start, especially when you're learning to use the hat for the first time, you always start to move the cursor slowly by a gentle blow or suck and only once it starts to move can you then increase blowing or sucking to make it move faster. So that gives us the ability to move the cursor with very very fine control yet still be able to move it quickly anywhere we want on the screen. So I hope that uh, makes sense for you. In uh, Just to summarise, I've got a diagram here that hopefully will bring it all together for you. Now you can see uh, the blow directions and the suck directions. I'm going to put the cursor in the middle of this diagram and watch the, uh, the hap uh, over here and uh, you should be able to work out what I'm doing. I hope you find that interesting. Thanks for watching.